this listen is on four different skin findings that can occur in colon cancer that may go unnoticed by the patient. So these are four hidden skin findings in colon cancer. Before we talk about those skin findings, let's discuss colon cancer and some risk factors for getting it. So colon cancer is a cancer of the large intestine and or rectum. So the large intestine and rectum is located in this image here. This is what can be affected by colon cancer. And the large intestine and rectum is involved in both water reabsorption and stool movement. And cancer often develops from a colonic polyp. So a polyp starts in the large intestine, and then over time it can become cancer. So it can take years. So this is the reason why we end up getting polypectomies or removal of the polyps before they become cancers. Now, colon cancer is the third to fourth most common cancer globally, and risk factors for getting it include increasing age. So as we get older, our risk for getting colon cancer increases. Other risk factors include long-term low-fiber diets, having a family history or a genetic condition like Lynch syndrome, and also having a history of IBD or inflammatory bowel disease, especially ulcerative colitis. This significantly increases our risk for colon cancer. So some of the more common symptoms of colon cancer include abdominal pain, stool caliber changes. So you can imagine if you've got a growth in the large intestine, if it gets larger and larger, that cancer, the shape of your stool will change. So you can get what we call pencil-shaped stool. So the stool can become thinner. And other symptoms include bowel habit changes. So there can be constipation with some patients, diarrhea with some patients, or an alternation of the two. Now let's discuss four different skin findings that can go unnoticed in patients with colon cancer. And these are going to be rare, but they can happen in some patients. One of them is what we call sweet syndrome. So this is actually a medical condition that can occur. So sweet syndrome can cause skin lesions that look like this. So this is where we get these tender. So it means that they are painful. Erythematous, meaning that they're reddened in appearance. Plaques, which are raised skin lesions greater than 10 millimeters in diameter. And nodules can also occur. So these would be something that occurs under the skin. Again, they're tender. And we're often going to see that they have a well-defined outline to them. Again, they're tender. And they may occur with other systemic symptoms, including fever. Fever is actually quite common with these. So patients may have these eruptions of these skin lesions and then have a bit of a fever that goes along with them. And some other symptoms that can occur include arthralgias or joint pain and a headache in some cases. So if patients are having these little eruptions of these kind of skin lesions that go along with a fever in some cases, or some other symptoms, it may be sweet syndrome. Now, again, this is going to be a sudden onset. So there's a sudden onset of these skin lesions. And where we're going to see them includes the following. Upper extremities are going to be the most common area. So on the arms, especially, but we can also see them on the face, neck, chest, and back as well. So on the upper body. They can have varying sizes, and they're going to be asymmetrically distributed. So they might have some on one side, but not on the other side, for instance. So that is one possible finding in colon cancer. Another possible skin finding that we can see in colon cancer is something called hypertrichosis lanuginosa acquisita. So this is where patients grow fetal or lanugo hair. So we call this malignant down. So it's kind of this very fine and unpigmented hair. So it's a little fine hair growth that occurs. So this can be quite easily overlooked, not something very significant for the patient. It might not be causing any issues, but they start to have this little bit of hair growth. The hairs actually can grow quite long and they can be easily pulled out if you were to kind of pull or give a little traction to them. And some areas of the body that we can see this occurring include the eyebrows or around the eyebrows, on the forehead, on the ears, on the nose, and on the trunk and extremities as well. So the extremities being the arms and the legs. But it doesn't affect palms, soles of the feet, or perennial area. And this can occur in other conditions. It is associated with other metabolic and endocrine conditions. But it can occur in colon cancer. And this is actually an early finding that can occur even before identification of a tumor. So upwards of up to two and a half years prior to identification of a tumor, we can start to get a little bit of this hair growth, this malignant down. This is a very rare finding, but it can occur with an underlying colorectal tumor. Another possible skin finding we can see in colon cancer that may go unnoticed is subcutaneous nodules. So it can look something like this. We get these nodules in different parts of the body. We'll talk about that here in a moment. These are going to be raised skin lesions. They're going to be multiple, so there's more than one. They're palpable, meaning that you can feel them. They're non-tender. That's going to be important. So there's no pain when touching them. You just feel this lump under the skin, and they're non-itchy. So there's no other symptoms besides 
the fact that you can feel a lump under the skin. Again, they're going to be multiple and you can feel them. And what this is, is actually a metastasis of the colon cancer itself. So this is actually composed of colon cancer cells, one of these nodules. So if there was a fine needle aspirate performed on one of these nodules, what would come back on pathology is that this is cancer, or specifically in this case, colon cancer. Now, this can occur in other conditions as well, where we get a metastasis of cancer to the skin, although, again, it's quite rare. Usually 5% or fewer cancers will have metastases to the skin, and about 0.8% of cases of colon cancer will actually present as this skin finding. So very rare. It's going to be located on certain parts of the body, and in some cases it's been noted to occur on the forehead, on the chest, but oftentimes when we see subcutaneous nodules from colon cancer, we're going to see it on the abdomen. This is again going to be a rare finding of metastatic colorectal carcinoma, but it can occur again in very rare cases. And another possible skin finding we can see that patients may not notice or may not think much of is what we call malignant acanthosis nigricans. So something like this could be found on the patient. Now we'll talk about where we see these particular skin lesions here in a moment. So acanthosis nigricans is a thickened, hyperpigmented skin lesion. So it's thickened, it kind of feels like very thickened skin. It's hyperpigmented, meaning that it's darker than the surrounding skin. And it has what is often described as a velvety appearance. It's going to be found in areas that are intertriginous. So that means that anywhere where skin meets skin. So we can find it in the axillae, which is the armpits, or in the groin area. So that's important places where we can see this particular skin finding. Now we can actually see acanthosis nigricans commonly occurring, or more commonly occurring at least, in patients who have obesity and type 2 diabetes. It is related to insulin resistance, but we call it malignant acanthosis nigricans if it is caused by an underlying cancer. And one of the cancers that can cause this particular skin finding is colorectal carcinoma. So again, when this occurs in colorectal adenocarcinoma, we call it malignant acanthosis nigricans. So we can get it along with other symptoms of colon cancer, but also other skin findings of colon cancer, including what we call lesser trela sign. If you want more information on that particular skin finding, please check out my lesson on that topic. So we'll often have other signs and symptoms of colon cancer occurring or co-occurring with these skin findings, but not always, as we talked about before, with that malignant down, that very fine hair that can grow. That can grow even years before a tumor is identified. So that's an important finding that can occur early on. But again, all these are generally rare. Please check out my other lessons on colon cancer for more information on that topic. Please also consider joining as member for members only content. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.